Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to etch glass with etching cream, use the rub and buff to make it pop more, and I cut my stencil out with the silhouette. So here's my stencil. I'm going to put it on here. I have a, this is just a glass jar from Michael's. I believe it was like 80 something cents. It was on clearance. So there, here's this. And then I made me, I'm going to put candy on there. Make it a candy dish. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I have my stencil here. I have my jar here. I have a black t-shirt in here. So hopefully it would stand out better on the video, the etching. I have etch cream, armor etch. You can get this at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Make sure you use your 20% or 40% off coupon. Rub and buff, silver leaf rub and buff. You can get all different colors. Michaels didn't have many colors, but Hobby Lobby had a lot of a lot of different colors. And I think it was like $4 or some, something. It wasn't very expensive. And then uh, a cloth, like a, a t-shirt. This is part of an old sock. And then some transfer tape, which this is uh, contact paper from Walmart. It's $5 a roll, and there's a lot there. And it's $5. It's back in the kitchen section. And then um, I'm using Oracle 651. You could probably use 631 if you needed to. And alcohol and then a cleaning cloth. So what we're going to do first is we're going to clean our jar or whatever you're doing. I I'm not sure if the rubbing buff is permanent for the purpose of washing, so I'm not sure that it would do good on dishes, but like candle dishes or uh, candles, vases, and stuff like that that's probably not going to be running through the dishwasher will be good because I, I, I think it's, once it sets up, I think you can wipe it, like if you need to wipe it clean. So, all right. And so when you do a stencil, Instead of, like when you normally weed, which weeding is when you take away the parts you don't need. Normally when you weed, you would pull everything out and leave what you want to keep. Like a, de a decal, you would leave the candy. With this, you want to take the letters out. And then I'm using my weeding tool here. I don't normally use a weeding tool. I usually use a needle. It just, it usually works better for me. But this is just what I had handy at the time. So just pull all the letters up. Mm. I don't want to come up. Okay. And like when I cut a stencil out, I always cut a lot bigger when I'm doing etching cream. I always cut it a lot bigger than what my stencil is because you don't want the etching cream getting on the glass because once it touches the glass, it will etch. Okay, so we take this and then we wanna cut, cut our piece of transfer tape. It's not gonna be as big as this. It just has to be big enough to cover your stencil part. So it'll all come up together. See, it's not as big as the whole piece of vinyl, it's just big enough to pick up the where the stencil is. So we're gonna peel this. Some people, I use this um, contact paper, it's just cheaper and I have had trouble with it, but not a whole lot of trouble. To where I don't like using it. It's so cheap that, I mean, you just get it by the roll and you can run to Walmart and grab it. Or you can get it at Hobby Lobby Michaels or any craft store. Okay, so you just want to rub it to where you're, you don't even have to rub all this down because you just want to make sure this all sticks together. And then what you're going to do is leave the contact paper on there and you're going to peel away. You're going to peel the whole black piece up. And you want everything to come with it, just like that. Then you're going to take this and you're going to put it on your jar. Just wherever you think it looks good. I'm just eyeballing it, so it's probably not going to be perfect. Mm, that's pretty good. Okay. Then you're going to want to rub it down. 
mainly where you want to get around these letters. You do not want your etching cream to seep underneath those letters because like I said once the etching cream touches the glass where it touches the glass is where it's going to uh, etch. So if you drop some on the side of the glass there's going to be an etch spot there and it's permanent. So and the etch cream once you etch it it is permanent so you can dishwash it. The only way you can't dishwash it is once we do the buff and rub. Rub and buff, sorry. Okay, so, okay, and then we'll just kind of push down the edges to where it'll stick to where you can peel this, uh, your transfer tape up or your contact paper. And if it has air bubbles over here, don't even worry about that because it's just not going to matter. Just make sure there's not any air bubbles by the letters. You want to get all the air bubbles out by the edge of the letters. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay. So now what we're going to do, take our etch cream. I always just use a Q-tip, and I probably use too much etch cream. I'm sure, according to some people, I would. But I want to make sure I get a good etch on there. And some people, I believe, even scrape. Once they've, they've done their etching, they scrape off what they've used, and they reuse it. I tried that one time and I messed up the stencil, so I just don't even, it's, I, to me it's more trouble than it's worth, but some people may have a technique to doing it that I don't know. So make sure you get all your letters here. And I've had this jar forever. This jar, or this can here, I think I've had it for probably a year and a half, and I've done a lot of etching, so... And with this, you don't want to etch big areas, which etch cream is not good for big areas because you will get swirls in it. Or if you put if you put a glob and then you smear it around, it's going to have it's just going to have swirls. So you don't want to do like big areas with etch, etch cream. That's not what it's for. So let's see. Let's get it all. And I don't leave it very long either. Some people leave it five minutes. I think some people may leave it 30, 30 minutes. I mean, some people leave it a long time. I don't because it's etch cream and it's not gonna get any deeper. Once it's etched, it's etched. It's, it's not like a laser. With a laser, you can get it deeper into the glass. Once the surface of the glass is etched, it's not gonna do anything else because it's etched. So we're gonna let this set on there for, I don't know, I'll give it on the, the recommended instructions are, I think, see I don't even know what the recommended instructions are because I just usually leave it on there for just a few short, I usually leave it on there for like two minutes. The longer you do leave it on there, the better etch you are going to get, but I wouldn't leave it on there longer than five minutes because I just don't think it's going to get any better than that. Huh. I don't see it on there, but I'm reading it as we're going, so maybe I'm just overlooking it. So we'll just leave that on there, and then what we'll do is we're gonna rinse this off, dry it, and then that's when the rubbing buff's gonna uh, come in. So I'm gonna go rinse this off, and then I'll wait to pull the stencil off when I get back. So I'm gonna go Okay, so I'm back. Off. I've rinsed it off. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel our stencil off. Hopefully in the video with that shirt being in there, you can see the etching because you know when when you etch something, it's it's usually best to have something in the glass of whatever you're etching, and you could see it. Okay, peel all that up. So if you're doing like a drinking glass or something, a drinking glass pretty much, if you're doing like a drinking glass, once you get this stencil off here, it's done. You can put it in the dishwasher, you can microwave if, I wouldn't say microwave, but I mean, you can do whatever you want with it. It's a, uh, and if you do like a baking dish, you can bake, okay? So you can stop right there, it's done. But what I'm going to do, dry it off really good. You want to make sure you get it dried really good. 
I'm going to add robin buff, which will make this stand out even more. So let's get it all wiped off really good there. Get a mess going over here with my Q-tip. Okay. So, like I said, I got a piece of an old sock. You can see I got some on the table there from last time I used it. Or from this rag or this sock. Okay, so what you're going to do is I just take a little, I put a little glob on each letter. And it dries pretty quick. It does dry fast. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take it in a circular motion and rub. Just like that. A little bit goes a long way. I probably used too much on this too. But that's all right. And then you just want to get the extra off around it. And it's going to stick to wherever you etched at that rubbing buff is. Okay. Take your cloth that's a little damp. And just get the rest of it off there see it'll wipe a little bit of that off there but you can always come back get those spots again you just keep rubbing that's why it's called rubbing buff you rub it and then you buff it into the edge and I think that's pretty good there's a little bit right there it's embedded into the glass and there you go and see that make that rubbing buff makes the etching stand out a lot better than if you just left it etched which leaving it etched would stand out if you put something in the jar but to have have the jar just sitting it's hard to see just like if you uh, etched a wine glass or a beer mug once you get something in the beer mug or the wine glass then the etching stands out but this is a way that you can do picture frames you could do um, a vase candle holder jars and then canisters but just let this dry really good and like I said I'm honestly not even sure if this is permanent in the dishwasher that's why I would do it in stuff that doesn't get washed that often or something that's just you can wipe down real lightly but I I the last item that I did was a candle holder and then this is a course this would be a candy dish but you can do whatever you want but thanks for watching if you aren't subscribed please subscribe i'm going to try to uh get more videos done of stuff that you could do with the silhouette and things that i can review and hopefully you like this video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe thanks for watching